<laughs> hey guys, it's the one Sammy here. How's it going? I am on a cool, cool Saturday morning. I am in front of Kangdong Hospital in Gangnam, and I just finished my Korean government mandated yearly physical. So. Because I pay into the national health care plan, the government has a program where every year or every two years they do cancer screening. So I had booked this. I received my documentation in the mail. And what it looks like is a letter like this from the um, health office asking you to register and contact your local hospital to book this appointment and basically it's a full body workup so I would say like it's a physical but you can choose extra and I chose to have endoscopy which is down the throat into my stomach so on top of that, they do blood test, stool sample, urine sample, body measurement, blood pressure. I did extra, I did the endoscopy. And next month I will come on my own and do the... Sorry, the endoscopy was included, the stomach cancer screening. So it's a cancer screening. So colon cancer and stomach cancer. And the blood test will test for markers, genetic markers. And um, it took an hour. So I booked it. Now the reason I had to pay is because I took the uh, sedation. I took, a, I, I, was a set, I was asleep. And it only took 10 minutes. When I woke up, it was kind of cute. I thought I was, I was looking for my phone and I was swiping and I'm swiping in the air, trying to touch my phone. It was so cute. But the endoscopy took 10 minutes, but it felt like five seconds. I was out. It was so cool. I haven't had good drugs like that in a while. Anyway, basically you come in here, you book it, and how I booked it was, I called the National Healthcare Office. They have an English helpline. And they give you the names and phone numbers of a couple of hospitals in your area. Now I had this booked and ready to go in June of this year, but because of COVID at the time and the fact that I wasn't vaccinated, I canceled it. Also the fact that I had moved and I didn't live close to the hospital. So then I, um, I rebooked it and I tried to get a convenient time but the only time they had was today which is December and I have to do it before the end of the year let me take this off I'm in a private area anyways I don't like these masks these masks outside don't work I fog up I like my other mask that I wear but because I was going to a hospital today I didn't want to wear that mask the mask I have is an outdoor mask. I switch to the white one, the N95 mask, when I'm indoors. But I didn't bring the other mask because I didn't want to switch. Anyway, so the government health one, what happened? So I, I, I had to pay for, so I paid 110,000 won, 140, 40,000 won that was for the anesthesia and 60,000 for the translator so she walked me through the whole process stuck with me the whole day because again 
my Korean is good, but not that good. And I wanted to be 100% sure I was getting all of the information that, you know, this is a medical procedure. I want to understand what's going on. So, um, you come in the week before, sorry, you book it on, on over the phone or online. And then uh, you go in the week before, you pick up some paperwork that you have to fill in, uh, which is your medical history, uh, stool sample container, and you pay the week before or a few days before or what have you. Um, you have to fast the night before, which is easy. Um, you can't take aspirin for a week before and you have to let them know what kind of medication you're on. So I come in, I came in at 7.45, 8 o'clock it started, I'm out the door at 9, an hour. It's very assembly line. They have so many people going through it and it's an assembly line, seriously assembly line. Uh, and I am at a hospital. So they have this going all, all the time. And it's a weekend, so you can book it on the weekend. Um, but seriously, it only takes an hour and I'm 100% okay. Little tiny groggy from the anesthesia and my throat is a little bit sore. Like I've taken some, um, you know when you have a, a cold and you take that spray that numbs your throat, that's what it is. And because they gave me something like that to numb my throat. <clears throat> so, first thing I do, I come in and you change into a smock. You take off your top, keep your pants on, um, but you take off your top and your shirt because you have to be, because uh, they take EKG and stuff like that. Um, I got my, what was the first thing they did? First thing they did was eye test, um, hearing test, blood pressure. Then they body measurement, height, weight, and waist measurement, so BMI. Then they did a blood test. They took a couple vials of blood, urine test, and I provided my stool sample which I had taken the night before um, then was the endoscopy that was the last thing you lie down you put something in your mouth that opens your mouth and you bite down on it they strap that in you have a little stent in your arm which is the leftover from the blood test which they plug into I saw the needle, they inject it. I didn't even see the injection. I had to see the injection because well, I just closed my eyes and, and drifted off. I'm tired anyway. So um, they said it was very easy, very quick. And then when I woke up, that was it. Um, I went to see the doctor. The doctor said that there was no issues other than maybe a minor, tiny issue with uh, acid reflux possibility. And I said, I haven't had any symptoms. And I said, is it serious? She goes, tiny. You have the possibility of that developing so that if it does, you need to be aware. And I said, great, no problem. So the results will be emailed to my doctor. As I've spoken to you guys before, I have a private doctor who takes care of that. So he's going to receive the information. And then when I see him in a couple weeks, he will have that documentation to review and, and um, assess as to what I should be doing next. Am I concerned about the uh, endoscopy? Absolutely not. Um, having minor stomach acid reflux issues can be resolved um, through um, medication. It's not a problem. Um, I've never had a problem. I, doctor said, do you smoke or, or drink a lot of coffee? I said, no, never smoke. And I drink one cup of coffee. And when I retire, it, there's not going to be any more coffee. But I'm going to switch to tea because I live in Sri I'm going to be living in Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka is a tea country. So, they, I mean, that's not going to be an issue. Um, the blood tests are going to come back normal because um, I've been having blood tests for the last two years. The urine uh, test, again, is going to come back okay. 
Uh, the stool sample, I'm going to be uh, uh, very happy to get that taken care of because that uh, it tests for colon cancer. So I'm going to be happy with that results. Um, and the final thing is, is that I'm booking a uh, colonoscopy uh, in January. I'm going to come in and do that. I thought it was going to happen today, but again, I misunderstood the difference. The, I didn't understand the difference between endoscopy and colonoscopy. Um, the endoscopy is through the mouth into the stomach. So they went through my mouth into my stomach to check my stomach for cancer. Um, so, um, and also in the event that they found anything, they would biopsy it right away. Uh, they didn't find anything. So, um, yeah, that is the free uh, cancer screening that occurs in Korea. You can get it absolutely free if you don't take anesthesia and you don't need a um, interpreter. Um, highly, highly recommend the anesthesia. I have been told by the interpreter and by my doctor to get the anesthesia because doing it while you're awake is painful and you are like you're trying to throw up and you can't and it's very uncomfortable and painful and seriously I woke up from it in in after 10 minutes they were done they probably only took five minutes to do it less than five minutes these are professionals they do it it's assembly line they do it over and over and over all day long so it was really easy and they were really nice Again, because I speak Korean, so they thought it was all cute that I speak Korean. Um, they were all real nice people. I took, they took really good care of me. And I am at the Kangwon Hospital, which is uh, Bong Sua Station, Line 9, Exit 5 in Gangnam. Um, those of you who wish to go can contact the hospital directly and ask for the English uh, interpreter service or I will provide the information down below uh, I, I, actually I won't uh, I'll provide the hospital information and you can contact the hospital not the exact interpreter because she may not be here or what have you when you watch this video in the future anyway um, that was my adventure for today so I'm done for today nine o'clock it's now 9 15 I'm gonna go home have some breakfast because I fasted I'm um, going to treat myself to some uh, pancakes and sausage uh, from Butterfingers and then uh, going to relax at home and chill out and then tomorrow, Sunday, I have a Korean wedding to go to. So that'll be my first real Korean wedding that I'm going to be part of the family because it's a good friend and uh, you'll get to see that. But. I want to say everybody thank you. Itaewon Sammy, King of Gangnam, Gangnam Sammy. I'm out.